Yes, my name is Amy. Today, I'm really excited to read this story, Paddington at the Rainbow's End, written by Michael Bond, illustrated by R. W. L. E. Morning, Paddington saw a rainbow in the sky. It did last long, so he went out shopping to see how many different colors he could find for himself. Sure enough, he had got every very far before the driver of the big red bird coat sighed of his hat and gave friendly to the. Paddington raised his hat in return. Then, at the baker, he found some buns which were exactly the same browns as his basket on the well. In the market, there were buns of bananas that were bright and clean. As is yellow boots, and there were lots of blue flowers. One of them was the same color, different coat. Best of all, Paddington licked his lips when he came across some jars of orange marmalade. On his way home, he stopped to look at the sky. The sun had almost won, and it is pleased there were lots of dark rain clouds. Paddington hurried on his way. He ha- was glad he had his black umbrella. It helped keep. His burns dry. At the nice thing about colors while having a green front door, it means he never went to the wrong house by mistake. When he was indoors, Paddington found a sweet seat. Of white paper, and carefully drew at the thing he had seen that morning, so that he could color them with in crayons. But then he looked for an orange clay, clay, crayon. He couldn't find one anywhere. He felt hungry after. He is shopping, and his sight of the empty space gave him an idea. He dipped it, his paw into the jar, murmured, "Now I know why I love orange best." He said, "Looking, licking his paw clean. There's no other color quite like it."